well as national assembly. At a gathering of the Organization of American States in Washington, Argentina, the Netherlands, and United Kingdom, promised more than $100 million in humanitarian aid to Venezuela. Lester Toledo coordinates international help for Venezuela. We came to ask for the solidarity of the governments of the world. We appreciate the diplomatic gestures. We appreciate the letters and the recognition of President Guaido. But we ask for help to make the humanitarian aid a reality. That all donations can let us purchase medical supplies that we really need. More than 50 countries have recognized the interim president Juan Guaido, and he is encouraging nations and others to send more help to his troubled country. Guaido says the aid will get in the country next February 23rd. However, embattled President Nicolás Maduro said that will not happen, and he blames U.S. economic sanctions for Venezuela's problems. Se hace presión para que en Venezuela no vengan los barcos que traen las medicinas. They are putting pressure in Venezuela's banks, which are in charge of purchasing and bringing the food supplies. The White House is pressuring so that none of our bank accounts work. They have frozen billions of dollars that could otherwise buy food and medicine. Already more than 100 tons of food and medicine have arrived at the Tienditas Bridge in Cúcuta, Colombia, with no clear indication on how this aid is going to get into the country. But U.S. Ambassador to the Organization of American States, Carlos Trujillo, says Juan Guaidó has a plan to get aid to the people. I believe that President Guaido has done everything possible to make Maduro accept the humanitarian aid. Maduro has no argument. The person sitting in power doesn't let the humanitarian aid reach his people who are dying of hunger. While in Washington, diplomats meet and coordinate the deployment of more humanitarian aid to the different gathering centers, in Venezuela, organizations like the Red Cross will help distribute the supplies with neutral and independent conditions. We have the necessary experience. We know it is a very complex issue, but we will do our best to coordinate the distribution and organization of this humanitarian aid. The United States government also continues to sanction top Maduro officials this week, including individuals involved in the military and Venezuela state oil company PDVSA. Cristina Caicedo-Smith, VOA News, Washington.